hyper, then everything became a little wonky, kind of like a mushroom type feeling. Disconnected and just calm and relaxed with light visual hallucinations. <laughs> Talk about some aura gel problems. I want the aura gel that he had, guys. That sounds like a great way to go. For a toothache. Huh? Ah. Love you too, babe. Well, gotta drive home. I hear you, Viper. If you want Viper, you can jump in a Skype call. It's no big deal to me. Sit here and BS the whole way. Uh -huh. Long link is like long WTF. This is what I had. Oh, nice, nice. Yeah, gaining them job levels. That's what I'm talking about. Ooh, one more fight before we exit the Crystal Tower. Nice. Whoa! Whoa, that is some serious experience. Nice.
Whoa, we're about to have another level 99 Onion Knight here in a moment. Nice. We're racing back to the uh, ship at this point. What levels are we? 57, 58. I wonder if we can come across the Behemoth King and kill it. All right, Viper is on her way home. She's uh, probably driving. Probably has almost no battery in her in her uh, phone, so she's conserving it until she gets home. Remember, she is a lifeguard. She does have to have like cell phone access for that kind of stuff. So, yeah, be careful, Viper, on your way home. <sighs> Also, guys, if we finish this early, I promise you, I will get that Google Doc working. Um, I may actually stream trying to get the Google Doc together, because I have it. I just need to make a dish, uh, edits to it. And if any of you are experienced in how to uh, use Google, Google Doc, let me know. I will gladly talk to you guys through Skype and try and make things work. Um, like, I actually do need a little help. Because I'm trying to set up the Google Docs, so when I have the mod application complete, you guys can actually hit submit, and then it goes to my email account. That's what I'm trying to do. I've only come across that Behemoth King the one time it killed me. Oh, you put her to bed and everything? Nice. I love you too. Love you too. Yeah. Actually, I don't know if anyone's still here. Yeah. Me and my dog are eating goldfish. You and your dog, uh, bear rippers, nice. Hey, Pikmin lover, are you still there, man?
If any of you are wondering which guide I used, here's the guide that I used for Final Fantasy 3. I will. Wherever you put it. So Pikmin Lover, right there's the uh, guide, my friend. It says DS in it, but DS and Steam are the exact same game, except Steam actually has... Uh, they made things easier to get in Steam, I feel. Okay, I'll take it out. Um, what are you talking about? Uh... No, I find the majority of the time online, but Earthbound, I physically went out of my way because I found a very cheap version of the book, the Nintendo Player's Guide, and the game. Um, personally, I've always wanted to have the booklet because I always had the game cartridge as a child. And then I was like, you know what? Screw this. I want all of it. So I'll be looking into uh, possibly buying a collector's version of Earthbound. And putting it up in my collector's shelf. Eventually. I'm just not, you know, I'm not making that Twitch bank. I, I'm not there yet. <laughs> that's, that's all. Um, however, uh, when I look through walkthroughs and guides, usually the ones you find online are completely detailed by players themselves who have actually invested the time to sit and do all this. So, like, you'll find way more, like, completionist guides online versus a game booklet. A game booklet may not tell you where all the books are, or not books, but all the uh, treasures are, or where all the specialty weapons are, or, like, you know, it may not tell you about achievements because it's, you know, it, the book may be a little outdated. That kind of thing. I'm having fun. Nice, Pikmin lover. Yeah, understandable is like, I feel like that's an understatement. Like, when you're doing things on a cheap budget, sometimes you really do need to uh, not buy that game strategy guide. Because if you're not going to keep the game, there's no point in buying a guide. I can tell you that right now. If you're not a game collector, then do not buy a game guide unless you absolutely want to keep the game. Because uh, that's just like 20 or 30 bucks, sometimes 40 or 50 bucks that you didn't need to spend. Especially if you're getting like a collector's booklet. Stuff like that. Are you going back to school this fall? Yeah, I am, McFussy Bear. I am. Um, school is like a main priority, but Twitch streaming is also a uh, favorite thing I love to do. I'm going to job grad as well in, in Steam Vision. Um, okay, Pikmin. I don't really understand what you mean there, but okay. Oh, maybe I should go back to the ship and buy, like, max out my antidotes, my potions, and all that stuff, so I'm not using magic for it. That will help the budget a little.
<sighs> me, I actually might. I, I, you know, the future is, is uh, you know, unforetold for me. I don't know what I want out of college yet, and I am going for a degree in athletic training, but I had to switch that up this semester for a degree in exercise science. So, because I couldn't get enough full-time credits in one degree, so I had to switch out to something that's extremely similar, and all my classes overlap each other. So now I'm like getting a degree in something else, technically. Here, the invisible. There we go. I still have outrageous money, though. Outrageous. Okay. What's the absolute best shield? Onion shield is dropped by the yellow, green, or red dragon. Whoa, I might have one of these. Let's check. Oh. <sighs> 
Yeah. Mm hmm. Uh, might be a new one coming out. No, it's like Leprechaun 1, 2, 3, and 4. Like, Leprechaun.